Um, you had two good chances right near the end there to win this match. Um, Olivier, both times foiled by the goalkeeper. What's your overall assessment of your team's performance tonight? Well, I thought we, we dominated big parts of the game. Everything we talked about before the game in terms of nullifying their counter-attacking threat, we did really well. So that part of the game I thought was fantastic. Didn't really get a chance until we, we almost gifted them one at the end. Um, and I thought we created enough. It's difficult to create against Tottenham when they defend in the, the, the low, medium block. Very lot of, lot of defenders centrally, the whole team central. You have to try and go around them. You have to try and make crosses um, or take on shots. Um, and it's not easy whilst making sure you don't allow counter-attack in transition. So I thought that part of our game was great. I thought we did enough to win the game without getting that last little bit that would win it for us. Um, sometimes you rely on a bit of magic something to drop for you when you had that much dominance and that didn't quite come so um, sort of balanced about the feeling after the game in that big parts were great hence the clean sheet but um, it was a game that we, we could have and probably should have won James Robson Hi Frank uh, what was the biggest thing for you today and for your team to psychologically not get drawn into the occasion and what the significance of beating Jose going to the top of the table so you, you, you didn't fall into his trap, let's say, like City did last week? No, I, I think it's clear that Tottenham, you know, against when they play this kind of game, they did against City last week, they they, they tend to adapt the, to take the style of, you know, being organised and wanting to counter-attack. You know, the manager sets that tone. They have great players in forward areas to, to play in that way, you know, and some we all know about and types of goals that they're scoring recently. So it's a big factor of the game, but we were at home, so we wanted to control the game. We did. Um, as I said before, could we have had a little bit more magic or something happen for us or drop for us at the top end of the pitch? There was only really one thing for the majority of the game that was searching for that moments, and that was us. Um, I didn't think of it that way before the game in terms of Joe's or whatever. It was just a game in front of us. We're playing pretty well and we wanted to win. And um, in the end, we didn't quite have enough at the top end of the pitch to do that. But it was certainly a game that we were the, the controlling thing. Hi, Frank. Hi, Matt. Um, we've just heard Jose describe Tottenham as a pony who were not even in the title race. And he said that Chelsea are one of the biggest contenders. I, uh, I wondered if you agreed with that assessment. I, I, oh, it's, it's, it's Jose's call to to say how he sees it from his end, but from the outside, at the top of the league, he's very close at the top. Um, if they're if we're contenders, and they have to be contenders. I think if you've got Harry Kane and Son in your team, I think Son's got nine goals, Harry's got seven. Um, they keep clean sheets well because of the organisation of their team. They would expect to be in the race. You know, they've, they've invested heavily. They've got people like Gareth Bale sitting on the bench. Deli Ali's not here. There's a strong squad there. Um, so I think we're all competing. But Jose can say it as he sees it. Hi, Frank. You okay? Hi, Jerry. Good, thank you. Yeah. Um, Jose also said Chelsea would be pleased to be only two points. Sorry. Jose also said Chelsea would be pleased to only be two points behind Spurs and Liverpool at this stage. Is that, is that how you feel? Uh, I'm not sure what angle he's coming from saying that. In, in what way? I think the point he made is that you're still in touch. I mean, you, you only got a point out of this game, but it doesn't mm. mean you're out, you're out of the race. You, you're still obviously in no. the... Yeah, I see that. I, I, I don't think the result either way today um, would have changed the idea that there's a long way to go. There's so many games to go. I don't think it would have changed anything. I think, you know, we... I suppose it's irrelevant what the feeling is after the game from Joe's point of view for us. We we just have to focus on ourselves. We know it's tight at the top. There are not just ourselves, Tottenham and Liverpool in, in the race. There are a lot of teams around us um, in this season, which is looking slightly different to, to recent seasons. So I don't really know what to say about that, to be honest. Sorry, last two. Nick Pierre Hall and Andy Dillon's finish. Hi Frank, thanks for your time. Um, obviously, uh, I guess you're slightly frustrated not to win that today, but how do you assess where you are overall? Are you pleased with the start? And um, in terms of um, how do you think fans coming back will will alter things when you look at maybe um, it might be more difficult for the players to communicate on the pitch? Obviously, you know, guys who haven't played together before, um, they, they've, they've built a relationship in an empty stadium, haven't they? Will it be a, another adjustment when the fans are back? Um, 
I'm not. I'm not frustrated too much with it. Maybe my, my face or my tone is saying I'm frustrated. I'm, we wanted to win the game, and I think if there's a frustration of, of sorts, it's because we we deserve to win the game in terms of chances and territory. But you only you only get what you deserve if you score the goals, which we didn't do. So that's the minor frustration today. I thought we played a really good game. There was one team pushing strongly to win the game, and the other team were sort of trying to stay in the game and get a draw probably at the end for sure. Um, in terms of where we're at. I'm pretty happy. I think bringing signings, signings into the club, I keep saying the same thing, but it doesn't mean that everything works instantly. We have to gel, we have to work, we have to build relationships with the players and we are doing that. Um, so we're not in a bad place at all. Will the fans coming back change it? Um, I'm not sure they will. We want them back anyway for, for what it brings to the game as a whole. Uh, I don't think 2000 next week against Leeds is going to change too much the communication between players on the pitch and every, every day and every performance that passes. I think the relationships are building. So I'm pleased that we're at. We always want more, um, but that hopefully is to come. Last question, Andy Dillon. Hi, Frank. Can you hear me? Andy, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, just a quick one from me. I just wondered if um, Tottenham were, was what you expected from them today. You, you're talking there about a team that wanted to stay in the game. Um, whether you expect, and, and just how tough they are, and, you know, they're kind of how defensive they are, really. Yeah, it was how I was expected because, I mean, we obviously watched the Manchester City game last week, but games where um, with a, you, you, you know the style of the manager, you know the type of opposition and how they tend to play, the attributes of the players that they have. They have great players for counter-attack in, in some particularly, and Harry Kane, the way he's playing in the minute, he can pretty much do, do everything himself. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're very well organised to defend. Um, that is a style of the way they want to play. That's the manager's prerogative, of course. Um, so I expected that we would have a lot of possession and dominate ter territorially as well, um, which we did. I just wanted us to be able to to really put them under pressure by going wide and making crosses into the box and, and to keep them sustained pressure. And I think at periods of the game, we did do that. And at those points are the points where you have to be clinical. And probably today, the one thing is that we want that clinical in that situation. So the, the game did kind of go how I expected. Um, I'm pleased with the fact that we, we didn't really give them a sniff on the counter-attack. Disappointed, of course, that we didn't take one of our chances. Okay, that's it. Thanks, everyone. Thank See you. you.